Do you have a library with a lot of books? Or maybe you've just read a lot of books? I like to think I have both, but that's really just in perspective. Some people have libraries much larger than mine, but I think over 200 is quite a few books. I sometimes look over the titles and wish I could remember what was in many of them. I have notes in the front of a lot of them to help me remember, but then sometimes some just stick out at a certain time, such as the one I'd like to talk about in this video. The book is called The Windshield is Bigger Than the Rearview Mirror by Jeff Wickwire. You may have never heard of him, but the book is full of insight, and I'd like to share some of it with you. Much of what I will share is from the book, with a little of my thoughts added. I feel that much of it is needed for this time, where we, many are concerned, distraught, uneasy, you name it, for the days we're living in. The subtitle for the book is Changing Your Focus from Past to Promise. I think you can begin to see what the book is all about. The rearview mirror represents the past. I think that for those of us who drive, spending all the time focusing on the rearview mirror can be very dangerous. It is there for a reason, but is not our main source of viewing. Now here are some thoughts from the book. Number one, to linger on the past, whether something or someone is not healthy. Those attachments can be a person, a job, a house, a town, or even a memory. Focusing on the past can make it more difficult to see what God may have planned for you. Number two, we also remember the past differently than it really was. Those were the good old days. Really? In some cases, that may be true. But we all may forget the not so good old days. Case in point, remember the Israelite statements after being away from Egypt and living in the desert? They wanted to return to Egypt when things got a little difficult in the desert. They forgot that they were slaves under the whips of taskmasters. Stinking thinking can hinder forward progress. And number three, another item from our past is failure. I like a quote directly from the book. Failure is not final unless you quit. Learn from failures and move on. Anyone who has been a part of sports knows that losing is a part of the game. But losing is not always the result of failure. You can lose when you play well. Don't dwell on the loss. Learn from the mistakes. Remember the good and move on. Number four, an overwhelming tragedy can be difficult to move past. Remember the story from Luke 24, beginning at verse 13? Two disciples were on their way to Emmaus after the crucifixion of Jesus in Jerusalem. You can hardly imagine what they were feeling, so they left. Maybe the same thing many of you will go through when you experience a tragedy. But Jesus came alongside them and then their view changed. Don't leave Jesus out if you experience such a tragedy. Now let's look at the windshield. Number one, endings always bring new beginnings. King David had to experience the tragedy of the death of the baby he had with Bathsheba. His second baby with Bathsheba was Solomon. Number two, we need to walk away from unfruitful attachments in the past. Paul says in Philippians 3.13, Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And if you know the Paul of the past, he had a lot to leave in the past. Number three. Part of the reason we have passed through what we have is to prepare us to touch the lives of others. Again, Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. Now notice the part that says, so that we can comfort those in any trouble. If you have had a chance to do this, you know how powerful it can be. Number four, 
Remember that our struggles can be our testimony. People will relate to stories of people who have struggled rather than to those who have had everything go perfectly well for them. The disciples were on the sea in the middle of a really bad storm. Why did Jesus let them experience a storm rather than just have the storm bypass them in the boat? Show and tell works better for learning. It leaves a better experience to remember. And finally, number five, remember that even though people will define you by so many things, and many can be negative, God defines you not by what you were, but what you can become.